I'm on sound and I saw Charlie Chan at the opera. It is directed by H. Bruce Humberstone, written by Bess Meredith. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This was requested by a Patreon. If you'd like a fast track movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash ASU Presents. On with the review. This movie starts and we're following Charlie Chan. He is a detective who speaks broken English. And what's interesting is there's this guy who breaks out of a, a sane asylum because he remembers his his family members trying to murder him, so he leaves the sane asylum. And now, the entire movie is just Charlie Chan trying to figure out the mystery behind where does this guy went? Where did this guy go? How do we find this guy from the sane asylum? As I watch it, first of all, it's dialogue heavy. A lot, uh, there's a lot of uh, be being told what's being on screen in the dialogue as well as being shown it. So like, I can know that somebody is talking and I know, oh, they're having a conversation about these things, right? And I, like, I don't even have to look at the screen at all. Obviously you should, cause you know, facial expressions, but this, I feel like this is, I like how it's written. This is fun. It's a fun written movie. Immediately, I'm sensing there's gonna be a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of detectiveness. And honestly, I can't wait to see more. And honest, also honestly, Charlie Chan, he's a cool guy. There's people who do undermine him, right? There's people who undermine him because he's Chinese. And there's a lot of uh, racism against the Chinese in this movie, like subtle ones, not like straight up outright racism per se but you know there's a there's a lot of like undertones of it there's a lot of undertones that people don't necessarily respect charlie chan which is why i believe charlie chan is trying to make himself more he's trying to make himself more he speaks broken english like i speak broken english he actually makes sense compared to me which i make no sense all the time i never make any sense when i speak english but charlie chan I understand what he's saying. What's, uh, I do like, there's people who do respect him. They're like, yeah, we can understand you, Charlie Chan. And then there's other people who are like, what? What are you saying? Oh, uh, you don't, you don't include subjects or nouns or whatever. You don't include any, you don't include half the words in the English sentence. You suck. And I'm like, man, don't, don't, don't do this to my man, Charlie Chan. But of course, let's back to the investigation. So he goes around, he investigates. What's fun about this investigation is pretty dialogue heavy. With all the dialogue giving me all the information, there sure is a lot of investigation. There's a lot of investigating. That's pretty much the entirety of the movie. He goes around, he asks people, huh, clue? Oh, here's a clue. Oh, I gotta use this clue to find, some, find, find another clue. Rinse and repeat. Right, so I do remember the end I like the end. Charlie Chan is like, I think I figured it out, but I have so many questions. What? And I'm like, okay, Charlie Chan, give me them questions. What are your questions? You know, I might have qu those qu same questions as you do, Charlie Chan. Hit me up with them questions, please. This guy found the killer. Give him a raise of round of applause. But there's some un unanswered questions. Chan, why do you want to play the opera twice? Don't you know they have fatigue on their focal cords if they sing it twice? It, what, this isn't a VCR, Chan. What, you just gonna control people? Oh, you can sing it twice. Just sing it twice, it's okay. It's for me, it's for me. Like, no, stop, you're not the center, center of attention, Charlie Chan, why are you doing this? But uh, I guess he might think it's for payments for solving the murder. Oh, uh, solving, well, there was a murder found out. First, there was the insane guy leaving and then there's a murder and then there's somebody threatening somebody else's life it's not really chance trying to get all those together and guess what he does but it's kind of confusing and it's kind of abrupt the ending i was not expecting the ending but once i saw the ending and i lived through the ending and i was like oh that's the ending okay overall this is a fine fun movie i do like this is from 1930s Whatever, whatever year it was, but it's, it's it's a good it's a good example of a, a detective movie. 
It kind of reminds me of a Scooby-Doo in structure, but there's no dog. There's no cartoon dog in this one. That's the only difference. It's the only difference. And also, it's just Charlie Chan instead of a bunch of teenagers and a dog. That's the only difference between this and Scooby-Doo. Charlie Chan is pretty much Scooby-Doo. Fact. This is a fun movie. Would I watch it again? Not really. I feel like there's a lot of dialogue. Some points there's way too much dialogue. I'm like, okay, I get it. Okay. Everyone's disrespecting uh, Charlie Chan. So I gotta give this movie, it's a solid 7 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want a fast track movie review, you can do that for $20. Redino's at patreon.com slash Presents. And if you like to help with daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree. Find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So you can go here. And until next time, I'm in Saud Saw. See you later to my Saud Croutons and Big Bits. Alright. Goodbye now. Which way do I go? There's a mystery over there, or there's a murder mystery over there? I'm gonna go towards... I'm gonna go this way. Bye-bye.